Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Yum and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Claire Grace gave her mother a startling hug. Victoria and Claire experience an optimistic moment in the Friday, January 19, 2024, Young and the Restless recap. Highlights of the Young and the Restless recap. Victor questioned Cole about his motives in this episode as well. Nikki and Lauren exchanged messages. Ashley confessed in Jack her problems with Tucker. Tucker tried to speak with Ashley after confronting Devon and Billy. Let us now examine what transpired in more detail. Claire struggled with the lingering effects of Aunt Jordan's disconcerting remarks after having a terrifying nightmare at Memorial, coming to terms with the profound influence her past had on her. Claire was disturbed by the dream, but Victoria reassured her that she wasn't by herself. Victoria acknowledged the challenges Claire must have faced in facing her past and commended her for doing so. But Claire stayed cautious, thinking of the long course of therapy that lay ahead, which both intimidated and challenged her. She described her family as icy and vindictive and voiced doubts about the mending process to her mother during a talk. Recognizing the gravity of their tense relationship, Victoria reassured Claire that they would move forward at her own speed and let her choose where she fits in the family. Claire wondered if Cole would really be in her life and if they could be a decent parent as the mother-daughter team worked through their feelings. Though cautiously optimistic, Victoria stressed that time would tell how their connections turned out. They hugged each other and shed a tearful moment as a result of their emotional conversation. Cole paid Victor a visit at the property in the meanwhile. They discussed Claire's influence on their lives. Victor asked them to act decisively since he was worried about Victoria's well-being. Cole, however, believed that they ought to be understanding and patient. He declared his intention to stay involved in Claire's life. He had taken a leave of absence from teaching in order to support her, and he intended to make Genoa City his temporary home. When Lauren went to see Nikki at Newman Media, she told her that although she didn't regret telling Jack the information, she did support her. Nikki felt she had hurt her friends and family, and she was upset with herself for it. Lauren pushed Nikki to concentrate on getting better. Furthermore, she recommended that Nikki rely on Jack rather than Seth, who was dealing with his own issues. When Victor arrived, he unexpectedly invited them to lunch. He stressed the value of friendship— Victoria's well-being was Victor's concern as society, and he told Nikki about his chat with Cole over the uncertain future. Given that Claire had given their daughter a hug, Victoria hinted at a possible reunion when she told Cole about their daughter's renewed hope at Crimson Lights. Cole related his meeting with Victor to Victoria. Her father's excessive protectiveness didn't sit well with her. How did things go in Paris? Ashley told Jack, Peter Bergman, at the Abbott home that Tucker had refuted her claims of assault in Paris. She's felt scared of him. Jack urged his sister to cut Tucker out of her life following the official divorce. Billy and Devon were talking about work at the Geno City Athletic Club when Tucker intervened and said they were banding together to oppose him. With his attention centered on his business, Tucker promised not to endanger the future of his grandchild. Ashley accused Tucker of violence in Paris at the Jazz Lounge. She pushed Tucker to tell the truth about what he had done, and they got into a furious argument about choices and commitment. Ashley asked Tucker to leave as the session came to a conclusion, expressing her independence. Lauren went to the Abbott Mansion, where she talked about Nikki's development and the obstacles that still needed to be overcome with Jack. It could end up hurting this why and our dad. Spoilers for Monday, January 22, 2024's episode of The Young, and the restless hint that Daniel can get burnt quickly if he continues to get too close to Heather. Overview of Young and the restless spoilers. When Daniel got back to Gino City, there were a number of things he wanted to fix. Following Lily's breakup with Billy, he made friends with her and things got better. Daniel and Lily, however, maintained a rather casual relationship. Now that Heather has returned to the area, she has made no secret of how grateful she is for Daniel's changes in the last year or two. 
Daniel appears to be accepting of her admission that she is still in love with him. This is probably the reason Daniel tinkers with fire, and it might indicate that Lily will end up burned. Though Cheryl and Chance broke up recently, things are going well for her in general. She also seems to be doing well with Nick, especially after naming her business after their late daughter. Is Sharon pointing Nick toward herself when she gives him the appropriate direction? Alternatively, does she assist him with anything else that's bothering him, everyone in the family? Family is vital to Victor, but for some reason, he hasn't quite accepted Claire as family yet. That he and Victoria can't agree on where Claire fits into their relationship is not all that shocking. Is Victoria going to be able to convince her father to like her daughter? Discover what the Y and R spoilers for your beloved Genoa City characters indicate will happen between January 22 and January 26, 2024. Teases include embarrassing inquiries, sister support, and much more in these spoilers for the young and the restless. You won't want to miss this week, I promise. Ashley Abbott's mental health has declined ever since she got back from her trip to Paris and it was all brought about by a single evening in a Parisian restaurant when her marriage unexpectedly ended. She and Tucker both remember the events of that day very differently. She is really distressed about it. Tucker, who recalls the event as mild, has completely gaslighted her, and she is frightened by the aggression and ferocity of their exchange. At last, Ashley seeks assistance from her sister Tressie, the most astute abbot, Will Tracy be able to ascertain the truth once and for all and calm Ashley down? Or will other queries come up who in order to assist her daughter, Heather has so made the most of Lily's absence? There have been brunches, sleepovers and times when Lucy planned time just for Daniel. She is going to achieve her goals since she is aware of them. She's fallen in love with him again and she's already told her ex as much. This indicates that a chat about objectives and other topics, such updates on their relationship status, is overdue. Look for Heather to inquire of Daniel if he would like to continue his relationship with Lily. Was everyone expecting that Claire and Jordan's cathartic encounter would be the last one? That there would be no more Jordan for Claire to deal with? Not true. Considering that Jordan wears prison orange and able to phone the niece she'd brainwashed from behind bars, what message is she trying to give Claire? Regarding his position at Jabot, Kyle lately displayed a little humility. Does he have the same self-awareness in his personal life? Due to the fact that teases indicate Kyle and Summer are beginning a new chapter. How would you describe that? Eventually, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Diane would occasionally show her teeth. Jack confided in her and gave her a brief overview of Nikki's experiences. Diane, though, won't let it data her from picking Nikki's ear. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.